What's up, Swift team? My name's Delina. I'll be leading you through your Swift Hit Live workout. Hey, let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna start at the bottom of your mat, stepping out into a deep lunge, planting that back knee on the ground and leaning into the stretch. Lean forward. You can keep your hands on your hips or bring them up to the sky and get a little more of a stretch in your upper body. Good, I've got an awesome workout planned for you. Let's go. Plant your hands on the ground, let's go to the other side. Plant that back knee on the ground, lean into the stretch, opening up hip flexors. Good, bring your hands up. Go a little deeper into that stretch. Let's go. Great job. Go ahead and plant your hands on the ground. Come into a downward dog. Popping your heels to the ground. All Get a good stretch in those hamstrings. Good. All right, go ahead and bring your feet shoulder width apart. Walk your hands in. Keep your upper body down, reaching your toes. Straighten those legs. Let the head hang. Good. This time you're gonna slightly turn your toes out and you're gonna come down into a deep squat, bringing your elbows on the insides of your knees, applying pressure to the insides of your knees to open up the hips. Great job. It's very, very important that we pay attention to the hips, mobility, the flexibility. It'll prevent injury. All right, let's focus on one side. So you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna turn. I'm turning to the right. Bring your hand on the outside of your foot and apply pressure. Continue to apply pressure with your elbow to the inside of your knee to open up the hip. A great job. Good. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Same thing on the other side. Bring your hand to the outside of your foot. Apply pressure with, the, with your elbow to the inside of your knee. Push out. Great job. You'll notice as you continue to do these exercises or these little warm-up stretches, um, you'll get more mobility, flexibility in the hips. You'll be able to go through the stretch a little deeper. All right, from right here, we're gonna walk out into a high plank and walk it back in into that deep squat. Come as low as you can go. If you're up here right now, totally fine. Everybody start somewhere. As you continue to do this stretch, you'll go a little deeper into the squat. Let's walk it out one more time. Good, and walk it right back. Straighten the legs, keep your upper body down. Come up slowly, let your head be the last thing up. Good. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate the first set of exercises for you guys. Be sure you have some water nearby. This is gonna be an awesome time and I'm really excited. Let's get started. The first exercise you're gonna do, I'm only demonstrating right now. You're gonna step back with your right leg into a lunge. Now when you step back, here's a little tip, step back into a slightly diagonal direction so you maintain your balance. You don't wanna go directly back because you'll be fighting with your balance the whole time. You're gonna stay right here. Your back leg is just there for assistance. You're gonna put most of your weight on your front leg, but be sure that you keep your knee behind your toes. Don't let it go ahead of your toes. You're gonna lean your upper body forward and you're gonna lunge up and down just like this. You'll feel all the weight in your front leg. Your back leg is just there to keep your balance. We're gonna focus on one leg and then we'll switch to the other side. The next exercise right after that is a straight leg sit up reach. Right here, you're gonna keep your legs straight. 
point your fingertips to the ceiling and sit up. Breathing out as you crunch. All right, team. Let's go. You have about 10 seconds. We're going to start bringing the right leg back first. In three, two, one. Let's go. Remember that back leg is just there for assistance. Your upper body is leaning forward. Try not to get that knee in front of the toes. Right here. Take your time, slow and controlled. We're doing this for 40 seconds and the next exercise right after this for 30 seconds. Let's go. Right after this, we switch into our straight leg. Sit up, reach. Woo. Quads are on fire. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Straight leg, sit up, reach. Let's go, team. Right here. Reaching towards the ceiling. You're not crunching in front of you. Right up towards the sky. Breathing out as you're crunching. Let's go. You got 10 seconds and we're back up. Lunges on the other side. In three, two, one. Let's go team. Up on your feet, left leg back this time. Focusing on the right, right here. Upper body leaning forward. You should feel it all through your quads, your glutes. Let's go. Slow and controlled. Pay attention to the muscles that are activated. You want quality, not quantity. Let's go. Sit up, reach. Three, two, one. Work in. Point your fingers up towards the ceiling. Let's go team. You got this, push through. Breathing out as you're sitting up. Get those shoulders up off the ground. Resting in. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Great job. Go ahead and get some water. We have those two exercises for another cycle. Let's go. Way to kick off this workout strong. Let's go team. In it to win it. Back in our leaning lunge pulse. Step back with your right foot. Two, one, we're working. Let's go team. Stay focused. Keep it going. You should feel your weight, majority of your weight in that front leg. Keep that core tight. Let's go. That neck is neutral, in line with the spine. Pulse. Keep it going. A few more seconds. We got 10 seconds, team. We don't stop at 10. We go harder at 10. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Sit up, reach. Let's go. Shake it off. Sitting up. Reaching towards the sky. Get those shoulders up off the ground. Let's go team. Activating that core. Lunges on the other side in three, two, one. Let's go. Left leg back. Slow and controlled. Keep that knee behind the toes. Good. It's not a whole lot of movement, but it's working really well. Keep working team, let's go. Woo! Push through. You got this. 
You feel that burn, getting a little shaky, don't stop. Get past the place of comfort. Sit up, reach in two, one, let's go. On fire, let's go, keep it going. Sit up, reach towards the sky. Let's go team. Seconds. 10 seconds does not mean we stop. It means we keep going. Three, two, one. Resting. Great job. You guys are amazing. You are on fire. Let's go. Keep that momentum going. As you're resting, I'm going to demonstrate the next set of exercises. Here we go. All right, you're going to come down on the ground. Plant your hands on the ground. Bring your bottom up. Your heels close to your bottom. You're tapping hand to the opposite toes right here. We're gonna do four of these. Then you're gonna sit and four knee tucks right here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. The next exercise, right after that, you're gonna stay on the ground, stay on your bottom, into a glute bridge, except you're gonna bring your toes pointing up towards the sky, heels on the ground, and you're walking out as you're up in that glute bridge. Hamstring walk out as far as you can go, keeping your bottom off the ground and coming right back up. Let's go, team. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. You got 10 seconds. Don't quit, go at your 100%. Let's go. Three, two, one. Crab, toe tap. Two, three, four. Sit on the ground, knee tuck. One, two, three, four. If you need to modify, here's a modified version. You stay on your bottom, right here. Trying to reach your toes. Three, four, and your knee tucks, single leg, alternating. Three, four, right here, keep it going, team. Don't lift your bottom too high off the ground. Point those toes, switching it up. Hamstring walkout, let's go. Up into that glue bridge as high as you can go. Baby steps out. Heels only, toes are pointed up. Walk back in, baby steps. Let's go team, push through. 10 seconds and we're back in our crab toe taps. Three, two, one, let's go. Back up right here. Your bottom is just slightly elevated off the ground. You're not lifting your bottom. Nope, you're keeping it down. Four of these, four knee tucks. One, two, three, four. Again, let's go. Go at your pace, go at your level, go at your 100%, but don't stop moving. Modify as needed. Three, four, push through. One, two, Three, four, hamstring walkout. Let's go right into it. Get those glutes up. Keep them up the entire time right here. Walk out as far as you can go. Right back in. Baby steps, smallest steps. Keep it going. Keep those toes up in the air. In the sky. 10 seconds. We have a rest in four. Three, two, one, resting. Great job, team. Get that water. We have those two exercises for another cycle. If you need to catch your breath at all throughout this workout, you can bring your hands behind your head, open up the lungs, come down into a deep squat, back your palms together, lean forward, and open up the lungs. 
Let's go. Starting in three, two, one. Crab, toe tap, four times. Three, four, knee tucks, one, two. Here's your modification. Right here, single leg back into our crab toe taps. Let's go. In it to win it, push through team. Three, four, keep going. Go at your pace. Everybody starts somewhere. All you need to do is start into our hamstring walkout. Let's go. Glutes up off the ground. Baby steps out as far as you can go and right back in. Let's go team. Woo! Breathe in through it, keep it going. We got 10 seconds. And we're back in our crab toe tap in four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're not stopping. Three, four, let's go. Knee tucks, one, point those toes, two, three, four. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. Push through. Two, three, four. We got a few more seconds. Hamstring walk out in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Glutes up, walking out, baby steps in. Keep the glutes up the entire time. Pay attention to the muscles activated. Let's go team. Keep it going. We got a few more seconds. Walk it out. Woo. Three, two, one. Resting. Man, great job. Way to push through. Get that water. Let's go. All right, while you're resting, I'm gonna go through the next set of exercises. Here we go, team. Continue to rest. Next exercise is another little combo. We've got push-up. The push-ups I like to do are with my elbows in my sides. Keeping your fingertips dug into the ground. Keeping your shoulders ahead of the wrists. Here's a modified push-up. Now, if you're just starting out with push-ups, stay on your tummy. Bring your hands towards the sides of your chest. Bring your upper body up, lock it out, and come back down. Now, the combo with that is right here, push-up, four mountain climb. One, two, three, four. Back into a push-up. One, two, three, four. If you're doing the full version, you're up on your toes the entire time. The next exercise right after that is a single leg glute bridge. You're gonna bring your right foot over your left. Keep your heel down on the ground, toes up towards the ceiling, tapping your bottom on the ground and powering right back up. Single leg. All right, let's go team. You got 10 seconds. On the ground, modified or full version. Let's go, push-ups. Two, one. Now I want the push-up slow and controlled. Coming back up slowly. Powering in to the four mountain climbers. Let's go. Right here. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. If you're modifying, right here. You can step up into the mountain climb instead of running it out four times. Let's go team. Single leg glute bridge in two, one. Let's go, right leg over the left quad, right foot over the left quad. Tapping your bottom on the ground slightly, 
and coming right back up. Nice and slow and controlled. Keep the heel on the ground, toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Let's go, focus. You got 10 seconds and we're back in our push-up mountain climb. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! Get back in that push-up. Push-up mode right here, slow and controlled. Power in to the mountain climbers. Breathe through it. Keep it going. My arms are shaky, I know. Your arms are shaking. Doesn't mean we stop. It means we keep going. Let's go. Modify as needed. Don't stop moving. Glute bridge, other side in two, one. Let's go. Left foot over the right quad. Keeping those toes pointed towards the ceiling. Heel planted on the ground. Slow and controlled. Pay attention to the muscles activated. Mind, muscle connection. Let's go team. 10 seconds. Don't think about your rest. Think about finishing strong. Three, two, one. Resting, great job. We have those two exercises for another cycle. Let's go team. You're in too deep to quit now. Don't quit. Let's go. You got this. 10 seconds and we're in push-up mode. Get it in your mind. Push-up mode, four, three, two, let's go. Slow it down, keep those elbows in your side. Power in, four mountain climbers. Slow and controlled, let's go team. This is quality, quality in your push-ups. Make it worth it, you wanna make it count. Right here, stay there. Keep those shoulders ahead of the wrist the entire time. Right after this, we're in our single leg glute bridge. You got a few more seconds, push through. Four, three, two, one. On your bottoms, right foot over the left quad. Right into it, let's go team. Whoo! Slow and controlled. Breathing through. Right after this, in 10 seconds, we're switching back to our push-up mountain climb. Turn it around, four, three, two, one. Finish out every exercise. If you're about to rest, finish it out. Finish it strong. Power up. Here's the full modification. Right here, you're only lifting the upper body. Lock it out, come up and step in to four mountain climbers. Let's go. Take your time. Three, four. Don't speed through it. 10 seconds. Glute bridge, two, one. Turn it around. Left foot over the right quad. Tap your bottom on the ground and come right back up. Let's go team. Get that mind right. Stay focused. You should already be past the place of comfort. That's where the results begin to roll in. We got a few more seconds and then we rest in two, one. Resting. Get back up on your feet, get that water. way to push through. All right, as you're resting, I'll demonstrate the next set of exercises. Here we go. You're gonna go back into a plank position right here. Your shoulders, this is really important. Stay up front and center, shoulders ahead of the wrist, fingertips, fingertips dug into the ground right here. You're gonna step up, replace 
your hand with your foot. Right here. Other side. Step up. Then you're gonna hop both feet in and out. Here's a modification. You can stay on one knee on the opposite side. Step up. Bring that elbow back. Switch to the other side. Right here, this is a modification. And then you can step your toes up. Step back. That's our modification for that exercise. The next exercise right after that is a single leg V up. You're gonna lay flat on the ground. Bring your arms back. Use that as momentum to come up and reach for your toes. Hand to the opposite toes. Side. If you need to modify, right here, tapping the knees. Tuck the knee in, tap. Use your other hand to balance. We have 10 seconds, team. Let's go. Plank positions. Step up. In and out, hop. In three, two, one. Let's go. Right here. Starting off slow and controlled. Right there. Hop in and out. And get back, right back into it. If you need to modify, you're stepping in and out. Let's go, team. Slow and controlled. This is not fast. The only time you're powering up is when you hop in and out. Right here, keep those shoulders ahead of the wrist. Core is tight at all times. Keep it going. Right after this, single leg V up in three, two, finish it out. Let's go. On our backs, fully extending, power up. Right here, hand to the opposite toes. Breathe out. As you sit up, we're working a lot of core today. Let's go, team. A few more seconds. Keep it going, finish strong. You only got five, four, three, two, one. Back around into our step up, in and out hop. Front and center right here. Keep those shoulders ahead of the wrist the entire time. Hop in, hop out. Keep those shoulders ahead of the wrist. Let's go, team. Woo! Right here. Push through. No stopping now. A few more seconds. Single leg V up in three, two, one. Let's go. Turning around. Fully extending back, reaching up, touching your toes. Let's go, team. In it to win it. Finish it strong. Let's go. A few more seconds. Make that rest count. Three, two, one. Resting. Great job. You have another cycle of those two exercises. I consider you pros now. So let's take it up a notch. Let's go team. That first exercise is only 40 seconds. Second one is only 30 seconds. Think about it. You're putting all your effort out in those, in the little bit amount of time that you have. Two, one, let's go. Front and center right here. Step up. Bring that elbow back. Take your time. Right here. Hop in, out. Repeat. Let's go. Stay determined to finish. Not just to finish, but to finish strong every single time. Take it up a notch. Right after this, we have our single leg V up. A few more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Turn it around. Let's go. Fully extended. Good. Usually when we do an exercise for multiple rounds, by the last round we're a little weaker. Nope, that's not the mentality here. 
I want you to finish that last round of the exercise stronger than when you first started it. First one was just practice. Back around in three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Back in our step ups. Step up, elbow back, keep it going. Hop in, out. Here's your modification, stepping in, stepping out. Let's go. Woo! You get a good stretch in your hip flexors. This is a full body workout right here. Keep it going. That core's tight at all times. Single leg V up in three, two, one. Finish strong, let's go team. I know, you think I'm crazy, but it's worth it. You'll never regret a workout. You have the strength on the inside of you. This is what you're doing right now as you're tapping into that strength that you didn't think you had. Let's go. Unleash that greatness. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Resting. Every rest, we gotta make it count. So we're gonna finish strong before every rest. Let's go. Whew. All right, as you're resting, I'm gonna demonstrate the next set of exercises. This is our last set of exercises. We've got back into our plank favorite position. <laughs> Still keeping your shoulders ahead of the wrist right here. Fingertips into the ground, gripping the ground. Bring your left hand, tap your right shoulder. Right hand, tap your left shoulder back and forth. Keep your body isolated. Bring your feet out a little wider than normal. Right after this, we're gonna go into a 30 second plank. You're gonna come down on your forearms. Stay front and center right here. Modification for this shoulder tap is on your knees, still leaning forward, tapping the shoulders right here. Same thing with the plank. You're gonna come down on your forearms and stay right here. All right, team. I'm counting on you. Let's go. Three, two, plank position, one, shoulder taps. Now here's the hard part is to slow it down. I'm not speeding through, this is easy. Easy for me to continue and keep going if I'm speeding through it. If you're really paying attention to the muscles that are activated, slow it down and make it a quality exercise. You want your muscles to respond. Let's go. Pay attention. Plank in five, Four, three, two, one. Down on your forearms. Let's go. Right here, you got 30 seconds. Guys, I'm shaky. I don't care what level you're at. You are gonna be shaking. Whoo, can you come on those knees? Come on those knees, stay front and center. Come back up on your toes. Four. Three, two, one. Back up into our plank shoulder taps. I know, I'm crazy. Let's go, we're gonna make it worth it. Right here, here's your modification. Stay right there, slow and controlled. Don't modify to make it comfortable. Modify because that's where you're starting. Now, if you feel like your posture is off, then come into the modified position. If you feel like you can walk it out, keep it going. Plank in five, four, three, two, one. Down into our plank. Get up on those toes. Let's go. Close your eyes and breathe through. If you need to come down on your knees, whoo. I'm feeling it, guys. Keep it going. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 
Whew. Push through. Four, three, two, one. You better rest. Whew. Make that rest count. Let's go. We're gonna go back in our plank position. Got a few more seconds. Finish it out strong, last cycle. Let's go team. Seven seconds. Let's go. Shoulder tap in three, two, one. Let's go. My whole body's shaky. My arms are done with anything that has to do with planks. I know you're feeling the same. Keep it going. Finish strong. Whatever you do, don't stop. Don't stop moving. If you need to modify as much as you need to, do it to stay in it. Keep it going. This is where you go to new levels. You want to go to another level after every workout. You want to make it count. This is how you do it. Planks in three, two, one. You got to stay on your knees, but stay front and center. Applying pressure to that core, activating. Let's go. Breathe through it, guys. This is not easy. Not, none of this is easy. It was never meant to be easy. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Back up into our shoulder taps. Let's go. This is the last round of this exercise. Right after this, we finish it out with a plank. Guys, my whole body is shaking. Keep it going. Let's go. No matter what level, no matter what level you're at, finish it strong. Push through. It's on the inside of you. That strength, it's already being tapped into. Keep it going. Unleash that strength. Let's go. Right here, two, one, into that plank. Whatever you do, don't stop moving. <sighs> Breathing through, keep that core activated. Even though I'm on my knees, my core is activated. Last 10 seconds, I want you to come up on your toes with me. Let's go, 10 seconds right here. Five. Four, three, two, one. You are done. Woo! Man, give yourself a hand. You guys are amazing. I am dripping sweat. Intense, insane workout. Hey, let's cool it down, guys. If you need to catch your breath, right here, the best exercise, best little stretch to do. To cool it down, bring the back of your palms together and lean forward. Take a deep breath in and out. Open up those lungs, close your eyes. Good. Slow down that heart rate. Go ahead and straighten the legs, stay down, keep your upper body down, reaching your toes. Good, right after this, bring your toes pointed out slightly and go into a deep squat. Come back up, straighten those legs. Once again, deep squat. Good. All right, this last one. Straighten those legs, come up slowly. Woo! I'm done. Get those arms up towards the sky. Lean over to one side. Good, over to the other side. Great job, swing those arms, overlapping one another, arm circles. Back and forward. Good. Once again, thank you guys so much for joining me in our swift HIIT workout. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can follow me at DelinaMG on Instagram. 
Delina Gonzalez on Facebook. You can also follow us at Swift Fitness, at Swift Sweat. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you thought about your experience with Swift. Let's go team. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Peace.